everyone, welcome back to the new video. It's me, Namrita here. Hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, as you already know, I'm going to be reviewing one of the latest PR packages that I've received from Pixie. This time, it was really special to me. It was one of the biggest PR package I've ever received in my life. It's so gorgeous. I'll show you the packaging somewhere on the screen. Right now, I don't have that in front of me, but I separated all the palettes it came in with so i'm gonna be using this uh, palette for the first time today although i kept one highlight slash blush palette uh, aside because i want to keep that for the upcoming giveaway and uh, here i have their eyeshadow palette the face sculpting the contour and highlight palette and of course this one i'm so excited to try this because i love you know lip palettes you can create so many customized color out of these uh, shades these are so good especially if you are doing makeup professionally on clients you can make any kind of shades out of these colors so i'm so happy with this pr package i'm forever grateful to pixie for always believing in me and sending this amazing makeup products in their pr package i'm so happy that i'm part of it so now without doing any further ado let's just get into it but this channel is about to hit 3000 subscribers so if you're here and if you're new then please make sure to subscribe first and i'll put my insta link in the description box you can follow me over there as well so right now as you can see i'm done with my brows so at first i'll start with the eyeshadow palette so in the past i tried uh, pixie's eyeshadow palette but to be honest i was not like 100 percent happy with the pigmentation and the formula but i love the color story of their nine pan palettes those are so wearable the colors are so good but not very pigmented you have to build it up you have to spend a lot of time but this time again i'm very happy with this color story you can see this palette has everything if you want something very wearable neutral colors you have it here and there are some playful colors so today i'm going to be creating something very summer appropriate colorful look using this shades so let's just start with it at first i need to prep my eyelids for that i'm going to be using you know what i'm going to use yes the urban decay primer potion that's one of my favorites if you have been here for a long time you know what i use most of the days so let's just apply it let me know in the comment if you ever tried any of the pixie makeup products i know most of you already tried this skincare line and a fan of it so am i those are amazing but a pixie has some good makeup products as well like i received a bronzer palette few months back and that really blew my mind away it was so good so good the pigmentation and the colors for bronzers highlighters it was all in one palette and i loved it so much anyway let's just start with this shadows okay it has a names for all the shades at the back but i'm gonna put the shade name on the screen because it would be tough for me to tell you the names as i apply but at first i'm gonna start with this a shade right here it's more like a dusty rose or um warm beige kind of a shade okay i'm not seeing a lot of loose pigment under the palette and you can see the brush already picked quite a lot of product so tap off the excess and start applying <laughs> As you can see I'm applying the shade all over the crease and extending this pigment little outwards and uh, this is the pigment you're seeing here it's after layering it for two times it's not bad uh, so far I'm liking the shade and for blending this upper edge I'm using a clean brush and just trying to buff it out okay now let's move on with the next shade but i think i haven't given you enough description on this palette so this is a collaboration palette with tina young she herself an amazing makeup artist as she creates content on youtube you can check her channel and she has her own makeup line that's great but still she did this collaboration with pixie and came up with this amazing palette i love this shade so far and now i'm gonna go with this 
a teal dark turquoise kind of a shade which kind of matches my top I intentionally did it because I knew I'm gonna try it this is the shade I was eyeing on since the first day when I received the palette I knew I need to try this so let's just use a finger to try it because it's a metallic kind of a shadow but I'm not seeing a lot of sheen in it but it's not a matte shadow either so let's just apply it okay as I'm applying it with the finger I'm not seeing a lot of fallouts but I need to blend the shade with the previous color so I'll use a brush wow our fingertips are so underrated you guys you can see I almost blended this teal shade with the previous color just with my fingertip and with fingertip you can see the color payoff is amazing and don't worry about this age I'm gonna blend it with the brush okay now I'm gonna be using the previous brush which I used with the brown shade and slightly blend both the shades okay for the other eye I thought to use a brush for that I chose this kind of flat but dense shader brush but I need to dampen it for better pigmentation okay, this is also a great way to apply this a shade you can see the color payoff is amazing but uh, for blending both the shades I have to use a separate brush um, but with fingertip you can see it got blended just like that well one thing I need to tell you although I wanted to like it more but a uh, pigment wise and uh, the finishing of this a uh, shadow is better uh, when you apply it with a weight brush like on this eye you can see this a uh, shade this particular teal color seem to be more of a metallic shadow where in on this eye it's looking like a matte shade the shimmers are not showing up properly oh my god no I messed it up anyway I need to dampen the brush one more time and apply it on this eye okay on this eye you can see both the shades are looking very separated not well blended so I'll try to blend it with a clean brush okay once you apply it with a wet brush you have to make sure you're putting the shadow very carefully placing it exactly where you want it to be because once it's dry you can see it's not budging it's just set which is great it will be long lasting I can tell you but here you can see it's just moving here and there as I applied it with my fingertips so it's for sure you have to use it with wet brushes and now it's a high time to clean up this edge with the q-tip dipped in micellar water shadow and it's needless to say how pigmented it is although I was happy the way it looked when I applied with my fingertip but I got to know the difference once I picked this with this brush so this is the approved way of applying this metallic shadows from this palette particularly and now I'm gonna go off camera to put my foundation on and then I'll be back I'll do the face sculpting with you and the rest of the eyes so stay tuned well I'm back with the foundation on I used the Huda Beauty stick foundation along with their overachiever concealer I love this top they're so full coverage yet natural looking I know right now my face is looking a little lighter than my neck area but don't worry about it I haven't applied any deeper shade yet like the contour or bronzer shade when I'll do that it'll balance it out but before that I need to finish up my eye so for that I think I'm gonna go with this deep bargain the kind of a shade here it's called depth I'm gonna put that all over the lower lash line okay before I go with the eyeshadow I need to follow an extra step I'll go with this eyeliner it's uh, the makeup by Mario liner in the shade the perfect brown I'll walk it through the waterline and the lower lash line and if I apply this a powder shadow on top of it it will stick better and now I'm gonna be using an angled brush very thin precise brush and lightly apply this okay now I'll dampen up this brush for a metallic shadow alright so which of the shades I applied from this palette so far are pigmented so I don't really have anything to say negative about this palette 
So now I'm gonna go with this gold right here which I'll put in the inner corner and uh, I'll pick this light mint kind of a shade which I'm gonna put in the inner lid. So let's just do it. I'm using that same brush which I used with the dark turquoise shade. Well, I'm loving how easily it's blending out with the deeper shade. You can see it's adding very nice highlight in the inner corner and it's defining my eyes uh, even better. So now I'm going to go with this um, golden shade one more time just to add in the tear duct. It will catch even more light. And for the application, I'm going to use this kind of sponge tip applicator. These are so good with any metallic shadow. So I'm being hopeful. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Very sheer highlight, nothing too much. Alright, the eyes are done. I'm so happy with this final look. I don't think I should do anything extra. Although I'm not done with the face sculpting things. But I'm talking about the eyes. It's done. And I'm so happy with it. And if you want me to rate this eyeshadow palette, then I'd give it 8 out of 10. It's that good. Today itself I used exact 5 shades from this palette and none of the shades disappoint me and I think you can create different kind of looks with this colors. If you want to go very subtle soft look you can use this upper row. It has some matte transition colors which are pigmented enough. I think these are way better than the previous pixie formula. Especially the mattes were a very sheer previously but these are really great with two layers. I got a nice pigmentation and the metallics are really nice if you apply it weight so that was all about the eyeshadow palette and now I'm gonna go with this sculpting palette and then again it's a collab palette with promised among she also has a youtube channel but the first thing that attracted me is this bronzer shades these are great and very inclusive you can see it has some darker um, bronzer shades here and some medium and even lighter bronze shades and uh, accordingly uh, she chose some nice highlighter shades uh, which you can apply in a deeper shade and lighter shade and it has two setting um, powder kind of a thing which I really like and uh, I won't lie last time I used this shade on my cheek and it was so pigmented I used this shade to shade it down and it was all good so overall I love this uh, color story and everything about this palette and I already told you these are so pigmented so all you need is a little bit of product and you need to just blend it out well today I'm thinking of mixing these two shades I'll majorly use this but I'll take a hint of this deeper shade so these are called karma and namaste Wow, I'm loving all these names. I think uh, she's from Nepal. This is why uh, she chose these names. And uh, I grew up in India. Nepal is our neighbor country. So we have so many things in common. I understand all these names and uh, what she exactly thought before naming these shades. These are so thoughtful. And I'm immensely proud right now uh, seeing a South Asian girl ruling this beauty industry internationally it's really really big congratulations promise and now it's time to blend both the shades and in the jawline i'm going with the deeper shade to chisel it out and you can see how easily it added some depth to my chubby cheek. I told you it's very easy to work with. Although it'll get a little bit of a loose pigments all over the palette. But don't worry about it. At the end, it'll get a very nice snatched face. I'm using this lighter shade on the bridge of my nose. Well, the sculpting part is done. Let me know what you think of it. I think uh, the shades are very easy to blend, although it's very pigmented, but it doesn't look patchy and blends out very seamlessly. And at the end, it just looks like your skin, but adds adequate amount of depth. 
uh, exactly what you need from this palette so I definitely recommend this if you are the one who works on clients on different skin tones then you can definitely think of investing on this palette because you can see you have different options and you are getting this to a setting uh, powder kind of shades as well so it would be a great purchase uh, for your makeup kit and uh, now I'm gonna apply a blush but this is what I received in the previous Pixi PR so it's there on the glow blush and I love the shade it's called juicy it's a perfect peachy coral kind of shade and it adds very nice glow to the skin which I love and now I'm just gonna blend this edges with this weight sponge alright the eyes and the complexion is done and so far I'm happy with this final look but one thing is still left is lips and we have this whole lip palette to play with but I think I'm gonna go with this nude shades today because I'm already wearing a lot of color on my eyes so I'll go very neutral on my lips so I think uh, I'll be using this shade the shade or this or mix of two. As you can see, I'm not wearing any lip liner just to see how this color wears on its own. And I'd say it's well pigmented, but you can build it up for better color payoff. But overall, it's very comfortable on lips. It's not overly matte or very creamy. Somewhere in between, it has very buttery or muji texture, which is very comfortable on lips. And uh, yeah, I think um, again, it's very, very versatile palette. You can wear the shades on its own or you can create a customized shade. But the best part is you can wear these colors as a cream blush. So let me just apply it very quick. Although I already have blush on, but just to show you how it works, let's just use this. It's adding very nice color, but always use a fluffy brush. It will help to blend the color very easily. like it let me know your thoughts in the comment box but to be honest i'm loving it especially because of that eyes that pop up color it's creating very nice ombre effect i don't know if you can say it but with that lighter color in the inner corner it's adding very nice effect to this look and this complexion is also good except this big ass pimple i have on my cheek but other than that it's really great it's uh, very dewy and that blush color i added at the end it's more like a cherry on top so overall I'm loving it and this palette I loved all three of them I can't really tell you which one is better because they all worked so well this is the look I achieved because of this palette so I'd say if you want to buy any of these palettes you can definitely go and buy it it won't be a waste of money and uh, I'd like to know which one you think worked better on me like which palette worked better on me and which one you'd like to buy for yourself so this is it for today's video I'll be back with the next one till then bye bye take care